<laughs> what up, guys? Jacob Owens here for the Buff Nerds, and today I got Will Rouse here. <laughs> Will Cinematic, <laughs> Will Mr. Cinematic, cinematic himself. So today I'm going to talk about setting up your camera for success. The best yeah. way to set it up for any shoot, whether you're traveling, you're on a music video, TV show, just shooting a little local commercial promo video, whatever it is, we're going to talk about best setting up your camera for success. And the te technical term for that is ergonomics. So whether you're shooting on just a DSLR and a lens and maybe all you have is a camera strap or you have something like this sexy beast right here, um, a red, all rigged up, we're going to talk about how to set it up for success. So for example, this past summer I went and traveled to like Exuma, Thailand, Kauai, all these different places. Will was with me on a couple of those trips yeah. and pretty much all I had with me was this DSLR, 1DX, some lenses and a camera strap. Now that's, I wanted to be able to just kind of move everywhere, hike, run and gun. So I didn't really bring a lot of gear with me, such as stabilizers or gimbals or anything like that. Um, I wanted to be able to move around quickly and a lot and get a lot done. So as far as camera ergonomics, all that I really had for my setup was this and a camera strap to help me keep it, keep it stable in certain situations, which I made a video on, uh, travel video tips on how to keep your camera stable and get stable shots without any extra gear. So I talk about that in a video. I'll probably link it in the description. But then moving forward, right now, Will is with me in Arizona, hence why he's in this video right now, <laughs> and we're working on a TV show here in Arizona. And for that TV show, we're running a bunch of three really big red camera builds. Uh, this is the, what is this, Red Raven Dragon? Red, or red Scarlet W. Red Scarlet W. Yeah. I have the Red Dragon, which we're shooting on right now. And then we also have a Red Epic W, which we're shooting on uh, for the show, which is not here right now. But for the show, we're much more built out because it is a TV show. So we have something a little bigger than this and it's not as handheld because we have some vintage anamorphic lenses. We have to rig it out with some railing, a matte box so we can use filters. We got these bottom cheese plates, top handle and everything to uh, kind of make things run a little smoothly. But this is where different shooting styles come into play. For example, my shooting style on the show is very handheld. I'm all handheld and that's how I run it. And my camera's built out for a small portable handheld because I like to jump over here, jump over here and just really move around a lot and very quickly. So by you know, limiting my setup, I'm able to do that. And so Will's gonna talk about his rig right here. And one of the things I love about this is this wooden handle on the side over here, which is great for handheld shooting. As you can see, I can tuck it in nice to my body here, get some th stable three points of contact. So again, building out your rig for your style of shooting is important. So yeah. Will on the show um, is using something called an easy rig. Uh, I'll show you guys a quick shot of that. But basically what that allows is to kind of take the weight yeah. away from you. Um, yeah, as you know, as an up and coming DP, I've made a couple of mistakes where I've, you know, ordered a couple of things for the camera and, you know, the camera, for example, is very front heavy and things get in the way. You don't want things to get in the way of your shooting style because that can affect the overall project. You want to be able to move as quickly and as freely as possible. So, for example, this one is very, very top heavy. So because this camera is much more front heavy, um, by taking off a lighter battery and throwing on something a little heavier to the back, it's gonna help balance it a little more. Notice it's not tilting as much. So again, building out your rig to the desired you know, weight and style is super important. And like I said, he uses an easy rig, which to use an easy rig, you're gonna need a top handle because that rig is gonna clamp onto this top handle and take all that weight for you and make it kind of weightless so you can just kind of float it and aim it wherever you want. Now moving back into camera ergonomics, um, I've been manually pulling focus. I pretty much manually pull focus on all my videos when running handheld, but you can get a follow focus off to the side. Yeah. And what a follow focus does is it allows you to basically pull focus on your lens without having to grab the lens. So you would rig up a follow focus so you can focus it here. And that works a lot better for a lot of people. Yeah. I personally don't you know, prefer that. I can run it with just my hand and I prefer to do that but it works for me. But a lot of people find it way easier and faster to use that you know, right. follow focus. And when so. you're on longer, tighter lenses as well, any kind of movement, you see it a lot more in the shake. So I prefer to use a follow focus when I'm on a longer lens because it allows me to not touch the lens so much so, and I can pull that focus without shaking the camera too much, so. 
And so for smaller cameras like this, um, cause I prefer to use a top handle when I'm shooting red, you can build out for like Sony A7S's and smaller cameras and DSLRs. You can get caged rigs where it kind of has a cage that goes around it and you could add a top handle and you could add side handles much like this wooden one here. And you can build out these smaller cameras to be a nice little rig where you have a side handle, you have a top handle and you can run around and do those things. So that's what we mean when you're talking about camera ergonomics. It's kind of the build of the camera and what's conducive to your shooting style. If your shooting style is handheld, building out a small little rig with a top handle and a little side handle is gonna be great and you can really move around. So yeah, I would say guys, just really try to find your shooting style, try different rigs, try different things that work best for you because what may work best for Jacob and I may not be what's best for you, so I'd say. Yeah, I mean, I shoot a little differently than Will and my camera setup is a, is a little, uh, I think, tighter, smaller and a little different. I, I like to have my monitor built off to the side, whereas you can see his is on the front right here. Um, so whatever's best and most conducive to your shooting style, build out a rig that fits that and you're gonna save a lot of time on production and when you're shooting and, and moving around and, and getting things done. So if you guys have any questions as far as like building out cameras and like camera ergonomics or questions about different things, whatever we talked about, uh, let us know in the comments below. We're gonna try and answer those questions. Um, but also check out, I'll link uh, a playlist in the description that goes back to talk about kind of some of the, the travel video tips or filmmaking tips that I've talked about previously on this channel that might help as well. Um, yeah, that's really all I have for you guys today. Just wanted to talk about, you know, building out your camera that's most conducive to your shooting style because I talked about gimbals and how I don't like to use gimbals and I shoot handheld. So I kind of wanted to show you how I shoot handheld and typically this is a close closely built rig as to how I would shoot most of my handheld videos I usually have a side handle or some type of top handle and I run around you know just tucking it close to my body run around shooting like this hanging out of cars holding it so that's just how I do it again camera ergonomics build it to how you see fit and how you shoot your videos again hopefully this helped yeah I yeah. hope so yeah all right I'm Jacob Owens for the buff nerds this is Will for the buff nerds and we out